Hey, what's up guys? So I'm Damien with Serrano's Pressure Washing. Uh, it's going to be my first YouTube video. Um, I'm just going to be showing you my setup. My setup's not, not you know, it's not like a professional setup. Um, like, I, I started about six months ago. I had zero idea what I was doing. And uh, this is what I, you know, this was, it's what I came up with. Um, so if you're just getting into business, or you think about getting into it, you know, go ahead and watch this video, get some some inspiration, some ideas. Um, and I chose today because uh, the job I'm at right now is um, it's the whole nine yard, you know, roof, driveway, patio, you know, you name it. Um, but yeah, that's me done talking. All right, well, for starters, you're gonna need a truck or, you know, I guess a van, but really you could work out of whatever. But for me, the truck's, you know, done pretty well. Got my roof rack holding up my ladder, my, my surface cleaner. Um, Honda GX390, pressure washer, northern tool, uh, software system with the 5.5 gallon per minute. Bleach pump. Yeah, I got it. Uh, I wouldn't say plumbed up, but I got it, you know, lined up with the, the hose reel. Got it mounted on the right side, so whenever you pull up to a job, you know, it's just like, bam. And then you just yank your you know yank your thing to the dang thing whatever you get it um the hose reel general pump hose reel best bang for your buck i tell you what um i'm holding 150 feet of line some comb i stole i'm mean, i got from some i don't even remember you know a little miscellaneous things you know some brush my damn one jerry jerry can whatever you want to call it garden hose reel i haven't found an efficient way to operate with the garden hose reel but um like i said six months into the, the business and it's what this is what i come up with one thing i didn't mention is ppe you know you always want the right ppe i got you know gloves you know a little stupid first aid can't you know bleach mask do not i i highly recommend not operating with you know any kind of bleach or chemicals without using that my first couple jobs i was like yeah whatever i'm bigger and better and it really hurt man it hurts so yeah uh well i'm gonna hand my my employee the camera yeah. like i said have it on the right side this is why Grab that MFR, start pulling. Wherever you need it. Alright, now I gotta find a good spot for my ladder. Uh, so I gotta get it off the roof rack. If you're wondering what's holding it in place and my service cleaner, I'm using bungee cords or uh, elastic tie downs. And they do their job pretty well. Uh, I take the truck on the highway, you know, going 90 miles per hour, and they don't budge. So, highly recommend getting some bungee cords. So, I got my ladder set up. You see it over there, pretty awkward spot, but, you know, it is what it is. So, before I start, you know, running everything and get into it, I uh, like to check all my connections, you know, make sure everything's nice and tight, no leaking, because, you know, this shit explodes, you get chemical everywhere, it's, you know, it's going to be really frustrating, so just check all, check all your connections, make sure everything's nice and tight, um, so pretty much got everything set up, uh, prior to laying down my chemical on the roof, just going to walk around the house, you know, get everything nice and soaked, um, uh, so, you know, the plant life's not absorbing, absorbing the chemical. You want to do this before you get up there, during and after. Because you kill the plant, you know, you kill the job. That person's never calling you back. He's not referring you. None of that good stuff, so. All right, this is the roof. It's, uh, it's clearly super dirty. It's uh, pretty much black, but uh, we'll see how it comes out. Alright, so I've been on this roof for about an hour. 
a little longer than usual but you know it is what it is it was really dirty and i'm not trying to cheat anybody so but to sum up what i've been doing you know you get good angle and where you buy spray and just coat it you know just give it a good coat make sure you spread it out evenly but you're not over spraying at the same time way up there but you don't want to be spraying it right on top it just run right off you gotta let the surfactant do its job so when you're spraying get some angle um yeah let that sit for a little bit but yeah that's pretty much it like look at this man can't beat it can't beat it all right roof soft wash completed looks brand new you saw the roof before it looked black I'll tell you what brand new Brand new roof. All right, this is the pool deck. Uh, just coating it with SH. Let it sit for about five to ten minutes. Um, if you're in the pressure washing business right now and you're not using SH or you know some sort of chemical, you're working a lot harder than you should be. Um, SH makes the job a lot easier and look a lot better. Uh, you just gotta you know take your precautions. But um, for the pool deck, it's pretty much just like any flat surface. Just avoid getting water in the pool. Um, I completely forgot to take a video of the driveway, but I got an example of a sidewalk here. I coated it with SH prior to, let it sit for about 5 to 10 minutes, and just use my surface cleaner and go to town. And then, you know, once you're done, just blow it off all the way, and bam, you got a clean sidewalk. And to show you how the front came out, this is before and after. Alright, so, um... I finished up the job not too long ago. It took me about three and a half hours, made 425 bucks. You know, it's pretty good. I could have charged more, but you know, I don't like charging, you know, an excessive amount considering it's just me and I just started not too long ago. But as you go through, you know, obviously you could bump up your price or whatever, but I made good money for the amount of time I was there and the amount of money I spent. So it is what it is. Um, I didn't really go into detail with uh, the whole groundwork, like the driveway and then the pool deck, because this isn't really a how-to video. It's just showing you that I can make money with this setup, not skid, but the setup I got right now. So if I can do it, like I said, you can do it. Um, so that's gonna wrap it up. I really don't have a following base, so we'll see how this video goes. But if you know you do have any questions, which you probably shouldn't um go ahead and ask away but um i got a lot of inspiration off of i got three youtubers i really go to for like you know if i have any questions so i'll, I'll go ahead and you know leave the link in their link and the whatever bio i don't know how this shit works so i'm gonna figure it out but i'm gonna try to help y'all out um but yeah thanks for watching until next time